Hello! So, recently I had one of my many, many stupid ideas and thought to myself, you know what, surely by now you can go on, you know, Wish or AliExpress or something and buy, like, a cheap camcorder or video camera that's using mobile phone parts from about five years ago, so the quality would be sort of alright? Surely that's got to be a thing, because, you know, these parts are getting smaller and cheaper all the time due to the massive popularity of mobile phones, etc, etc. So, I took myself over to Wish and bought four different video cameras and camcorders. And I tell you what, friends, they're not using mobile phone parts from five years ago. They appear to be using webcams from 1847. Anyway, <clears throat> before we get into it and compare them all using the powers of our eyes and also our ears, I thought I'd get myself some control footage, because it's not fair to be putting these things which cost almost nothing up against, like, you know, the latest 4K camcorders or proper DSLR or something. So, for control footage, I will be using this Panasonic HDC SD90, made in 2011, I believe. You can tell, by the way, that it's um, a special 2012 Olympics version. I actually used this for reviews for years and years and years. I only replaced it about a year ago, I think. And it has been an excellent workhorse. And also, uh, you know, being very old, it's a far more fair thing to put these up against. I'm not expecting them to really reach that kind of quality. I'll be honest, I've seen the footage already, they don't reach any kind of quality. But uh, just to uh, demonstrate, this is what a still picture looks like taken from this camera. Not what it's designed for, but it does a perfectly decent job. And here it is outside in the garden in lots of lovely sunshine, which cameras of course like. Um, should point out the specs if you're interested. Uh, they're .mts files, it produces, which are AVC, 25 frames a second, 1920 by 1080, proper full HD, and bit rates about 25 megabits per second. And here, just for you, is a little review filmed with it, just like old times. Wow, it's been a long time since I used the internal microphone on this. Right. Here's a couple of devices we shall be using for visual control. A game child, of course. This one's got the uh, rare hockey game in it. Look, ice hockey. That's interesting, isn't it? And look, still nothing in the back after all these years. And secondly, for a bit of colour, it's the awful Bart Simpson joystick made by Cheetah many, many years ago. The paint has flaked off his eyes, as is customary. Um, and his head's been hollowed out for a button because apparently... We've got to strangle him much as Homer does. What a horrendous device. Anyway, yes, visuals. Now, admittedly, in old times, I used to run that at 50 frames a second as opposed to 25, but hey, none of these others' cameras come close to 50 frames a second. In fact, they all shoot at 30. Beginning with... Wait for it. <clears throat> Plop. Ooh, packaging smashed up in the post. SLR camera, single lens reflex. That is a lie. This is a lie. This is a lie. Oh, all these sexy, sexy lies. Yep, these boxes are full of shit. Um, it's claims to have photos. It claims to be full HD 720. Full HD is 1080, but let's not get into that. Claims to record in H264, 30 frames a second. Well, I mean, it does record at 30 frames a second. It says camera on it, that bit's, even that's debatable, I'll be honest with you. 16 megapixel maximum, 2.4 inch LCD, infrared lens, blah blah blah. Ah. Now here we come to the gourmet lies. 16 megapixel sensor, right. 2.4 inch TFT LCD screen, 320 by 240, I believe that's correct. USB 2 mini port, video format AVI, hmm. Video resolution. Up to 1920 by 1080, that is a lie. Photo resolution, to be honest. I haven't put much thought into the photos. This is more about the video side of things, but I have done a still from each of them, just so we can see what they're like. White balance, explore, audio recorder, auto power, digital zoom, webcam function, four AA batteries, internal memory, storage media, built-in 64 megabytes of flash memory. I don't know if that's true or not. I stuck a bloody card in it. I'm not some sort of barbarian. Right, ready for the DSLR to end all DSLRs? Well, you won't find it. You'll just find this thing in bubble wrap. Um, Camera user guide. I think some of these are in quite good English, disappointingly. Uh, this section helps you to learn about the characteristics and functions of this video recorder. Uh, you need a Windows XP 2000 ME 98 SE operation system or above, so that's nice. Um, it's not difficult to use, put it that way. And here it is. And you know what? It's got the four batteries in, I believe. Yep, there we are. The reason I've had to put the batteries in already 
is because if not it would fucking float away because there is no weight to this whatsoever without the batteries in this weighs about 120 grams i'm convinced there's just a screen some buttons and a webcam in this thing well and a light actually Pioing. Yay, it's got a flash. That's something. Um, so on the side, you've got your connectors there. You've got, oh, what is that? USB mini type B. I can't even remember the different types of them now. Um, you've got an output for your audio and you've got an SD card thing. Um, yeah, don't expect to plug a microphone into it. You will not go along very well. Zoom in, zoom out, digital zoom only, of course. Take a photo or start recording, turn mode, blah, 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 blah. Notice how this bit is broken. That's because the second I tried to put it on a tripod, it just snapped and came out, and I had to remove it with pliers and shove it back in. We're talking real quality here, folks. Okay, let's quickly turn it on because we hate ourselves. Why, thank you. No card, that is true. Let's remove the lens cap. No, there's no, nothing to twist or do anything on here. Digital zoom lens. Digital zoom is not zoom at all. Do it in software, it'll come out better. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's just like the sodding webcam in it, I'm convinced. Mmm, yes. Look at, look at the quality motion capture there. So, remember what the control was like as we now jump into the world of, of spout on it. I feel that actually is just a review. You just take that away from this video and you'll have learned exactly what I think of this camera. Uh, yes, so this is it in the back garden there. Yeah, the motion's not great, the detail's not great. Uh, shall we have a little bit of digital zoom? Oh god, awful. The only thing I will say is it did quite good auto exposure balancing from the light to the dark areas. So well done there. And now, please enjoy this sofa footage filmed on this camera. Well, this is not a very wide field of view, is it? <laughs> it's as far out as this one goes. I'll bet it's a real treat for the ears as well. So, yes, um, here is the game child in all its glory. And here is the awful Bart Simpson joystick. Um, yeah, motion, um, colours. I have no idea if any of these things are working. Marvellous. If you're interested in the technicals, uh, that was a Motion JPEG AVI file, 1280 by 960. Well, it's kind of higher than they advertised resolution-wise, but also not in widescreen. 30 frames a second, about 30 megabits per second bitrate, which was higher than I expected, but there we go. And goodbye. How much did this thing cost? £25. And 10 of that was postage and packing, but yeah, 25 quid for the... Oh, it's fallen out. Told you it was broken. Um, yeah, 25 sodding pounds for this thing. Great. You go and sit over there and we'll pretend you don't exist. As we look... Oh, hang on. Here's another one. An SLR camera. It's not, it's, it's not even modelled after. It's not even a fake SLR this time. It's like a, some sort of compact camera is what it's trying to be. Uh, similar lies to the side of the other one. So that's always nice, isn't it? Right, only takes two AAA batteries this time, which is interesting. And I shall tell you why it is interesting. Because I couldn't get it to run off two AAAs until I put lithiums in. Well done, guys. Power and performance. Yet again, this is just a hideous light shell of nothing. Absolutely nothing. Weighs almost zero. Um, that, that bit's come off great. That helps. I tell you what, let's put the batteries in. And uh, with my ancient lithiums here, the only thing I can get to bloody thing to run off. On the plus side, the screen comes out this time. The bad news is it doesn't rotate, so you can't actually use it properly. Not that you would really want to. Okay, I'll quickly show you through the menus as we didn't last time. But Stuart, you say, surely this is a different camera. Uh, no, it isn't. <laughs> it's got the same bloody guts in it as the other one. And indeed, no card. So yeah, your resolution, you've got 12, 16, 5, blah, 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 blah. Marvellous, marvellous for your still photos, which will look doubtless absolutely dreadful. Um, photo quality, exposure, date label. You may notice, actually, that I've left the um, date stamps on the video and stuff for these. The reason is, that is frankly the date it was probably manufactured. Um, sounds like, yeah, marvellous. Can, can we switch modes? Any of that? There we are. Now we're in camcorder mode. Now the power is with us. Resolution. 
1080p 19 by 1080 it does not record 1920 by 1080 at all it records 1280 by 960 exactly like the other one even the menu lies to you here's a static photo taken with it here's the bit of footage panning across the garden slightly later in the day when I took this one well a few minutes but hey the sun moves quickly here's the review footage so this has exactly the same guts in as the fake DSLR right just with the look of it game child awful about Simpson joystick completely no control over the lens whatsoever hooray well frankly the least said about that the better the only thing I will mention is that this was two pounds more expensive than the other one presumably because it's got that hinge for the screen this was 27 pounds of which nine pounds was postage and packing mmm marvelous oh good here's a camcorder camcorder ah uh, yes digital video camcorder uh, there's all the specs most of uh, most of them just aren't true just total freaking lies um accessory battery tv cable usb cable charger bag user and i believe all that is true actually no i don't think it is i don't think it came with a bag well i'll open up and have a look in a minute anyway digi video camera i mean that's technically true Digital camera, again true, HD 1920 by 1080, uh, very much not true. That is what we in the trade call a bloody lie. Uh, max 16 megapixel, yeah, but that seems to be upscaled. 16 times digital zoom, that's not anything. And it's got anti-shake, that seems to do nothing whatsoever. Please read the user manual carefully before use. If not, you... you yes, do you know what? I can't imagine trying to read the user manual for this and not just immediately despairing. Tell you what, let's try it. Um, press menu to enter the for taking photo settings. Setting of taking for oh god, the English isn't as good in this one. Brief precautions. Do not use the device in extremely thermal, cold, dusty and watery circumstances. Yeah, if you are in extremely thermal circumstances, don't use your camcorder. Keep the device from direct and strong sunshine. Prevent the device from colliding with hard objects, such as the third moon of Jupiter. Turn the power off before push in or pull out the SD card or game card. What? Are all instructions for generic Chinese devices just taken from like emulator handhelds? Oh, I don't get it. Well here's your bag. I mean technically there was one. And there's your cable. And here is your little camcorder. Again very plastic and cheapy feeling. The lens again looks like a freaking webcam they've just slammed in it doesn't it? There is a little light on it for low light footage shooting. It's awful just don't do it. And it says DVC digital video camera. Well a little more specific than just camera on the other ones I suppose. Here's all your controls and yes this does actually rotate and come out. It feels like it's going to snap off at any second and probably will. Super steady shot. This I quite enjoyed. Remove this and uh, inside. Look, it's one of those BL5C batteries that used to be in everything. My god. I think I did have a camcorder which ran on those at some stage. Definitely had some lights or something. Um, but yeah, th there we go. Uh, shall, shall we turn it on? Digital camcorder. Yes, it's actually got different guts. Hooray! Woo! And there it is. Looking all rubbish. Picking up motion a lot better. But uh, Oh, low battery. Great. Yeah, I did you it's the battery's actually dead i mean yeah i did use it for four seconds so i suppose that would kill it off really wouldn't it support 32 gigabyte yeah that was fun because the smallest card i could find was 64 for ages but uh, it did work in everything um when i eventually found a 16. right uh do you want to see the footage then i'm gonna look away for this part <clears throat> here's your still picture still a load of old shit and here we are in the garden this does look a bit better i suppose yeah i mean it's 720p footage the old 1280 by 720 it's a motion jpeg again god remember those um dot avi files 30 frames per second bitrate is about 25 megabits per second so here's the review footage well here we are the first camera you can sensibly actually point at the sofa and see the screen at the same time horrible bart simpson thing there we are have not the cows, brethren. Oh, good God, it's just gone a weird colour. I don't know if that's going to... just all went sort of orange. I don't know if that's going to turn up on the finished footage or not, because this is awful. Genuinely disappointed with this, because I thought this might be something, whereas I wasn't expecting much from the two previous, but there we are.
Yeah, I, I mean, you could argue that that was better, but it's still pretty bloody terrible, isn't it, to say the least? Uh, that was the same amount of money, incidentally, as that one, to the penny, uh, both £27. So there you are. I mean, that looks more like a camera, but feels more like a dog's chew toy, um, whereas that is more of a thing for your money. So if you do have £27 to spend on a piece of shit, go for the one in the middle of the screen at the moment. And now, finally, the expensive one. Boom, yes, I actually spent a decent amount of money on this, almost. It was £71, of which, again, 10 was postage and packaging. But, yeah, £71 for this very, very brown box sort of thing going on here. None of the pretty graphics of the other ones. Uh, it's 2.7K, apparently, which is a, a weird sort of interstitial thing, isn't it? 2688 by 1520p resolution. I tell you what, it does actually produce footage in that resolution. I mean, it looks like it was upscaled from about 320 by 5 pixels, but never mind. Please format the memory card for using this video camera. This was a, a bastard, this one, actually. Um, it just wouldn't work with some memory cards. No idea why. I had to go through like three or four till I found one it would format and work with. And the viewfinder is glitchy, which I found incredibly annoying, like there's a loose connection to it or something. Anyway, what do we get in our expensive kit? Oh, look, we get all the stuff now. Now we're talking. Look, it comes with a nice case that I can use for a totally different camcorder afterwards. Um, remote control. Look, that horrible cheap um, bubble button remote control that comes with everything. Uh, that was what the battery was in, I presume. HDMI cable, that would probably work. And a micro USB. DV cam. Oh yeah, oh I've left it in the bag, nice. And we have... <gasps> this feels so, so much heavier and more of a thing than the others. And it even has a shoe connector on the top so you can actually connect something to it. Don't think it's hot by the looks of it, it will not supply power, but not going to worry too much about that. Uh, you've got optical zoom. <laughs> I'm lying. 16 times powerful zoom. It's just digital and nothing. Again, the actual lens looking a bit naff on the inside. You've got a couple of LEDs at the top. If you do want to turn lights on, you won't. What battery does it take? I forget. Uh, another one of the vaguely generic ones, I think. Oh, no. No, I've made... Well, it is generic, but I'm not... It's not one I've come across before, I don't think. Not that I recall, anyway. SD card also goes in there. If you actually want to record something on it, don't do that. But it has a microphone input. Can you believe it? Proper microphone input, look. HDMI out. Oh, yeah, this actually has proper camcorder functions for your money. And... Oh, it's automatically started up. There we are. And as you can see, it's the greatest thing ever made. That's as wide as it gets. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, there we go. Um, can we turn the light on? Yes! Oh, no, I forgot it's not in... That's infrared night mode. Which actually isn't bad for this kind of... Well, it isn't good, but um, it, it's effective in showing you things in the dark. Just what's not effective is showing it to you in any sort of quality, as you also discover with the daytime footage. Digital zoom. Let's let's not get into that. It's it's just evil. It's something nobody needs in their lives. Memory. Yeah. A menu even. Memory. I've forgotten what a menu is. The irony. I said memory instead. Um. Yeah. Resolution. Quality. Clip time. Blah blah blah. Also, look. Actual touch screen. I know, right? So, it seems like at this stage, this is the sweet spot. Spent about seventy pounds, and you will get. A camcorder that's half decent? No, as I alluded to earlier, it's still bloody awful. Here is the still photograph. Yeah, I'll let you draw your own conclusions from that. And here is the outside footage, which genuinely is 2.7K, but I'm convinced it's upscaled from something. And now, prepare yourself for the review footage. Ooh, the auto's blowing it out a bit on here, which is very evenly lit, so I don't quite know the reasoning for that. Let's put a game child in and see if that helps. Yes, it does! Look at that. Oh, that's considerably better. Looking out of focus through the viewfinder, but that could just be because the viewfinder's not very good. Let's get old Bart in. Blomph. There we are. Yeah. I mean, all right. All right-ish. It really doesn't want to focus on particularly anything, to be honest with you. Well, there we go. At least the motion kind of works on this one. Well, that's 71 quid I'll never see again. So basically, I think the conclusion we're going to draw, other than the fact that the lens on that is far too fucking narrow, um, if you do want a cheap camcorder, go on eBay 
and you can get a model very similar to this for about 70 or 80 pounds second hand and it will be a million times better than those things because not only is the visual quality of them awful but as you heard with your own ears the microphones sound dreadful even if your face is just above them there is nothing good about any of these whatsoever they are awful garbage devices produced an absolute minimum cost to rip people off with photographs basically i mean this is the only one which has any sort of quality feeling to it whatsoever and it's still utter utter rubbish whereas these these are like something you'd give a child to play with except you get something second hand that actually would do the job i mean it's just no reason for these things to exist whatsoever other than to rip the money out of your pockets through the medium of confusing you into thinking they're decent do you know what i am actually going to disassemble this now because i'm desperate to see what's inside it i'm assuming virtually nothing right let's get the batteries out and i'm going to grab my screwdriver and we are going to pull this to pieces well there we are as expected you've got a tiny couple of circuit boards one purely for the buttons you've got some power going to the led light at the top uh, you've got your microphone there you've got what is essentially the guts of it here but there's very little in the way of it it's mostly just the bloody msd card slot and a tiny microchip and in the front the world's goddamn cheapest actually can we remove this i'm sure we can uh it's got to be an old webcam or something in here surely there seems to be only one screw holding it in yes there literally was fucking hell well there we are i would say it's got a focusing ring on it but it's been glued shut if it has absolutely astonishing well there we are that, that's that's your camera that's that's your slr which is a genuine and real thing and in no way a total knockoff do you want to have a look at the if you want like looking up reference boards See if you can find how many millions of these uh, circuit boards you can get for tuppence. Ah, oh, dearie me. Well, well, there we go. What can we say to that except money spent and lessons learned? Oh, another little interesting detail for you. These took about seven months to arrive in total. <laughs> I know, right? Seven bloody months. I, I actually start. I think I ordered these in January, if I recall. And yeah, finally they all arrived. I'm going now, bye. Subscribe for more.